Well guys, it is finally time. Got the engine hoist here and we're gonna pull the motor out of the car. Um, got my engine stand set up, obviously. There's a few different ways you could have run these. I went with this one from Atkins, nice bent plate. Fortunately, my engine stand didn't quite fit it, so I had to drill a couple new holes for it. So, I'm gonna get to slinging this out. I don't have lift points on the motor anymore. I could sling a chain from one of the studs down there to some of the other side, but we'll just belly wrap with a couple ratchet straps, see how that goes, but. Yeah, I'm excited to finally pull the motor out of this thing after I don't know how many years of ownership. It's finally coming out, finally starting the rebuild, so we'll get it out, get on the engine stand, and then I'm actually still waiting on a 54 millimeter socket for the flywheel nut. Um, that'll be a big, well, it should be in early next week, so um, then I can actually start tearing into it. Maybe I got a wrench here big enough or channel locks, we'll see. Um, it would be nice to have with an impact just because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to break it loose without holding the flywheel on using a wrench, but yeah, let's get this engine out on the stand and go from there. As you can see, it is out and an empty engine bay. So Finn helped me here, made it a little bit easier. I gotta say like lining it up on the stand sucked a little bit. Um, lining up the four, four front bolts on the iron. Um, I'm missing a nut, but three should be fine. So that's on there. Gonna tear the clutch off it. It's always been sent for a while. Like look at the rust on there. Not the best, but yeah, I'm gonna tear the clutch off it. See if I can maybe wrestle the flywheel off. I was a little surprised once getting it out is, um, I've never loosened this motor mount before, but it is, yeah. So motor mounts are on the list. Actually, we got the list here. We got the RX-7 list here, GS-1000. And then there's a new project coming in soon. Um, the hood rack Cummins, I just picked up another. Um, second gen Cummins, another 12 valve, and I'll probably go pick it up in the spring. Um, bought it at auction a couple hours north of me. My parents actually picked it up, they're storing it on their farm, and then I'll come in, I don't know, in the spring when it's decent, go up there with a the trailer, um, bring it back, and we'll, it'll be another fun project. We're just gonna, that one's gonna be a budget project, so the goal of that one, like it's, it's a 94, 94, 95. 12 valve Cummins, rig cab, long box, two wheel drive, five speed standard. It's just, it's a little body's rough. Obviously it has 400 and some thousand K on it. Um, bought it for cheap. Um, we're just gonna feed it all the fuel we can. Maybe we'll put a bigger turbo on it and just make it into some tire burning machine. Um, it's really just gonna be a summer beater rig. I got another second gen Cummins. This is actually my fourth Cummins, second gen Cummins now. Yeah, I think it's my fourth. My daily is currently a second gen Cummins, but that'll be another project. It's up on the board, we'll get to it, but yeah. Let's tear this clutch off. 
flip the motor. I can't remember if this thing has oil in it or not. Drain the fluids, but let's get at it. So pulled everything off the front, uh, water pump, timing, whatever, blank on the name, um, pulleys, just a little last the oil drain out of it. Uh, I'm gonna pull the oil pan off and then obviously, as I'm doing this all, I am just going step by step. So oil pan, oil strainer, centric shaft lock, move the centric shaft lock bolt and oil ring bolt. So we're gonna follow this step by step as far as I can until I'm held up by the flywheel bolt, which is, yeah. So I got a bit I can do with front cover and all that, but I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna run out here. So once the oil's drained, pull the pan off and keep going. All right, so we got the front timing off, front cover off, got the uh, counterweight off with the chain to the oil pump. Obviously this is the front counterweight pull E with keyway, front bolt, and then we have the magical oil pump over here. Um, carefully took everything apart. I'm gonna obviously throw it all in. I got some XL Ziploc bags down here. Throw them there and then this is really as far as I can go until I get my 54 mil fly nut, flywheel nut, I guess I should say 54 flywheel socket. So this ain't a bad, bad start for one day. I know this is gonna be a longer episode. There's gonna be a lot of uh, time, time lapses in here, but that's not bad. Now we just got that and then we're getting into it. So I'm pretty excited with that. I mean, Probably didn't look like a lot of progress, but I felt like I made an absolute ton of progress on this today. So this is huge. And I mean, like these frost plugs are just so clean. Like this had to have been, I don't think this motor's ever been opened up before, judging by some of these gaskets and everything. Um, but I'm really happy with everything I see. Everything's just so clean. Um, so I think it's gonna be, I'm not gonna say an extensive rebuild because obviously the gasket kits for these aren't the cheapest, but I don't think it'll be terrible. But this is this is a big milestone for me. This is, you know, we're officially into it. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can tear anything you want off the car and the engine bay, but at the end of the day, it's just, it's little stuff. This, this here's a milestone and I'm really excited about it. You have to pick up a few other things. As I turned apart, I realized, man, I should probably have a parts washer. I feel like that would help me a ton. Be able to clean everything up nice. So I've shopped around local and see what somebody has uh, for used stuff for sale. But yeah, that's really it. Gonna work on big and all these, putting away all my tools and what else. And then uh, hopefully I'll be back in a few days with a uh, socket. We can keep tearing into it. Anyways, guys, stay frosty.